What's up guys, welcome to this guide on light level in Trove. The main purpose of this guide is to provide introductory level knowledge about light level so that you can get started on the geode top side and get further into delve content. First things first, the light stat in Trove has a very helpful description in game that needs almost no explanation. Use to overcome darkness. Yeah, thanks devs, real helpful. Anyways, enemies in the geode topside worlds have a darkness stat, which in simpler, or actually helpful terms, is basically just an armor or resistance stat. This is why going to the geode topside is so difficult if you have little to no light level. In addition to the geode topside though, enemies in lower delves also have a rapidly increasing darkness stat. The lower the depth, the higher the darkness stat gets. In order to counteract this darkness, armor, or resistance stat, you need to increase your light level. A better term for the light stat, going off of what we said earlier about darkness being armor, is armor penetration. The higher your light stat, the more damage you deal to enemies with darkness. To summarize what we've already discussed, darkness is essentially just bonus defense for enemies in geode topsider delves, and light is damage that pierces through darkness defenses. Now that we've gone over the darkness and light stats and how they work, it's time to explain how to begin increasing your light level. The first step I recommend taking to begin obtaining light is doing some public delves. The public delve portal can be found on the west side of the hub world. In order to queue up for public delves, simply walk up to the portal and interact with it to join the queue. Sometimes it takes a bit of waiting before you actually get put in a delve, so for this example recording I simply joined a private delve. Usually if you have minimal light stat, the game will put you at very high up delves, therefore making things relatively easy to complete. As the depth gets deeper, your damage will fall off. Because of this, if you notice you aren't doing enough damage, simply leave the delve and queue up again in the hub world. The reason why I recommend doing delves as a first step is because every third delve you do gives you pressure locked delvers caches. These are important because they can give you food items that are used in boosting your light or crafting important gear, or they can also give you other materials that are used for crafting banners. If you're lucky, you might get enough banner parts to craft a full banner after your first three delves. If you're just looking for light, craft whatever banner you can as soon as you're able to, but it's important to note that every banner gives you different stats, so you might want to consider reading what bonuses each type of banner gives you. The rarity of the banner is also random. If you get really lucky and manage to craft the Radiant banner, you'll get a whopping 300 light. In addition to getting a banner from Delves for Light, you can also use the food items that are obtained from the pressure locked caches to increase your light temporarily. Kelp gives you 100 light, Cave Milk gives you 200 light, and Free Range Crystals give you 300 light. Once you've equipped any of these food items, the stack will slowly decay over time at a rate of 1 item every 20 minutes. This is a quick way to get a boost to your light, however a lot of these items are really helpful in crafting later on, so I don't recommend using these unless you desperately need more light. That isn't all that you get from Delves though. After you pass Depth 25, every third delve will also have a Shadowy Soul Vault that when opened will give you various rewards, most importantly 3 Lunar Souls. These are limited weekly to a max of 18 Lunar Souls total, but 18 souls should be plenty to start you off with this next tip. Lunar Souls can be spent in the Shadow Tower at the Shadowy Market. A good way to get some easy starting light is to spend your Lunar Souls on Empowered Gem Boxes. These gem boxes will give you a random empowered gem of a random color and random rarity of radiant or stellar. The reason why this helps when you're trying to start increasing your light is because you can get cosmic gems that naturally give you light. Even if you don't get a stellar cosmic gem and you only get a radiant cosmic gem, you can still get a solid boost to your light. After doing these steps in the delves, I recommend trying to reach 5000 power rank if you haven't already, so that you can access the lowest geode topside. If you're desperately trying to reach 5000 power rank with minimal effort, I recommend simply upgrading your gems. If you still haven't reached 5000 power rank, you could try to buy a stellar ring from someone in global or trade chat for anywhere between 5000 and 20,000 flux. Once you've made it to the geode topside, there's a crafting bench at the spawn that will let you craft a crystal one weapon of any type. 
The materials required to craft a crystal weapon are 25 viridium and 8 nitroglitterine. These ores can simply be found scattered around the geode topside and shouldn't be too hard to find. Crafting a crystal weapon will not only give you a solid boost to your damage, but it'll also give you 100 light at level 1. Personally, I don't recommend upgrading your crystal weapons in the forge unless it's crystal 2 or 4, but if you really have to, it'll give you a small boost to your light for each upgrade. In addition to this, always max out your crystal gear with Pearls of Wisdom. Pearls of Wisdom can be found very rarely from dungeons, but are also insanely cheap on the marketplace. You can easily find pearls in the marketplace at a price of roughly 100 to 150 flux per pearl. Adding pearls will boost all of your gear's stats, but most importantly boosts the light that you get from your gear. The cool thing about using pearls on crystal gear is that on the off chance that you get crystal 2 or a higher gear, you can simply loot collect your pearled gear to get all of the pearls back. At this point, you should have enough light to be able to tackle a bit of the geode topside. I won't go in depth on how to continue increasing your light from here since this is mostly a guide on how to get started, however I will give you a general idea on how to continue from here. Geode topside dungeons will give you cosmic gem boxes that can be opened for cosmic gem dust and smaller cosmic gems. These small cosmic gems can be equipped and upgraded for even more light, and the dust can help you upgrade your empowered cosmic gem further. One thing to look for in these gems as you're upgrading them is whether or not the stat pearls have landed on the light stat or not. Ideally, you'd want to have all pearls on your light stat. My stellar cosmic gem has two pearls on its light stat, boosting it to a whopping 900 plus light, with my smaller cosmic gems giving me 700 plus light. Again, not going to go too in depth on gems here, but if you do want a video dedicated to that, I'd be happy to work on one. In addition to getting those cosmic gem boxes from Geode Topside Dungeons, you also might get lucky and obtain a crystal hat or crystal face. Crystal 2 drops can be found in Geode Topside Uber 9, and Crystal 3 and 4 can be found in Geode Topside Uber 10. All crystal gear can be dropped from Delves, but I found it easier for me personally to farm Geode Topside to at least get to Crystal 2. Another quick bonus about getting free light is that the first 100 Geode Mastery will give you 10 light per level. The reason why I didn't mention this earlier is because to me at least, the Geode Mastery is insanely painful and boring, so I don't usually recommend this as a way to start getting light. I figured I'd mention it though, since if you really want an extra boost to light, you can work on increasing your Geode Mastery. Lastly, in addition to crafting banners at the Delve Workbench, there are also a bunch of allies that you can craft for varying amounts of light. The reason why I left this as a bonus tip is because some of the allies in the Workbench are insanely powerful, but also very expensive for newer players. If you aren't able to craft these, that is fine, but I do recommend saving up to craft these eventually. That's about it for this intro guide on light level, but first let's do a quick recap on everything mentioned in the video. First things first, Darkness is a stat that Geode Topside and Delve enemies have that gives them bonus resistance. Light, on the other hand, is a stat that you can get to pierce through enemies' Darkness Resistance stat. Up on the screen now is a list of all of the easy ways to obtain light that I mentioned earlier in the video. I recommend screenshotting this in case you need to reference it in the future. I hope this guide helped. I tried to make everything as clear as possible without making this guide super long. I haven't really seen any intro guides to light, so I figured this would be a good topic to cover. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything in the video, or even stuff outside of the video. I'll probably be doing more of these tutorials in the future, so be sure to subscribe and like the video if this helped you. Also let me know in the comments if you have any tutorial video requests, as I'd be happy to make more guides for various topics in Trove. I also sometimes stream Trove, so be sure to follow my Twitch channel in the description and stop by sometime when I'm live. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.